TV guided missile in Battlefield 4 is one of the most useful secondary weapon options for either the attack boat or the attack helicopter. You can also get it in the attack jet, but that's not something I've really used a lot of. So for me, the attack helicopter and attack boat are made so much more effective, especially against armored targets. Now over the course of Battlefield 4's life, the TV missile has received several buffs and several nerfs, so it's not really something that you can master and then just expect to be able to keep the same set of skills the whole way through. It will receive several different changes and I'm sure, as they like to do to Battlefield 4, they will give it another change in the upcoming patch and maybe one after that. But for me, personally, the way it is at the minute is probably one of the best it's been since they did change it from being two missiles at once to now having a one missile option and then a, a longer reload. Combined with the 30mm primary cannon for the secondary seat on the attack helicopter, the TV missile is super effective, and especially if you're trying to get a tricky helicopter in the distance, or maybe a jet that's strafing you, or you just want to do more damage to a tank, using the TV missile is really, really beneficial, and your pilot will love you for doing it because it's pretty much a 35 hit against anything on the ground, which means they can do a lot more damage using their Zunis and tow missile, or whatever they've chosen to run with. You have to be really careful when firing it though, because in the helicopter, it is completely dependent on where the pilot aims you. They need to lift up slightly and point you towards the target, or if you're going along the ground, they need to just slow down slightly so you have more of a chance of firing. Unless you're on comms, of course, then it's a lot easier to hit your target. One of the biggest problems I find is if I'm flying with someone who I haven't got on comms or I don't really know, then it's quite difficult to tell them when I want to fire a TV missile because of the reload times and things like that. So always bear that in mind. Now to get onto how to actually fire this TV missile and be the most effective, I've put a couple of examples in the background for you guys to have a look at. So first off we're just going to see a TV missile shot straight out of base on the US side of Shanghai. And I'm aiming at a helicopter in the distance and I hit him, disable him and we end up finishing him off as he is on low health. So let's have a look at it slowed down. What I do is I, as soon as I find myself aiming towards the attack helicopter, I fire and I pretty much aim straight towards him as he is tagged as well so this is going to be a lot easier. And I just follow him, and as he's turning to the right and he's going down, I just bend my TV missile a little bit to compensate for that. Now a lot of people then, what they would have done is either overcompensated and gone too far, or not turned enough and missed him at the back. The key thing to do is to make sure that you match what the target is doing. Here's another example in the background, we're on Gulf of Oman, from the Chinese side. And I spot a helicopter in the distance, my gunner points me, and then I fire into the distance again. It's a similar set of circumstances, what I've done is I've tracked the spotted target and made sure that I've compensated for what the the enemy helicopter is doing. They're the fairly simple ones hitting an heli helicopter in the distance. You can see another one here where I've compensated for where the helicopter is going and tried to meet him. Instead of trying to bend at the last second I'm always trying to get just that step ahead of him so I can correct if I need to and that's what you'll see with a lot of TV missile shots. With someone who can actually hit a target and is not just someone who hasn't had much practice with it they'll compensate for it and they'll sort of guess where the attack helicopter is going to go and that's how you can get good with this thing. Again we'll watch this one in slow motion. This is a bit trickier because the pilots had to lean right back in it to enable me to fire up at him. He also fired a tow missile at the same time. So what I've managed to do is predict he's going to go to his left and I've just compensated for that and got the timing just right and hit him. If you're up against a really, really competent helicopter pilot, you're not going to be able to do these sort of things. But again, it's something that you will get better with, with time. The key thing is, though, is to make sure you're compensating for what they're doing and that you're getting your pilot to aim you in the right direction to start things off. You can also have a lot of fun with the, with the TV missile, as you saw there, road killing an infantry who bailed out of his jet. Now moving on to the attack boat. This is a lot simpler to fire. And the majority of time, you're going to be aiming your TV missiles at the enemy attack boats on the map or the little birds on a lot of the maps as well. Sometimes you'll find yourself having to shoot down a jet which I can explain in a minute as well. So the biggest problem you've got here is your reload time with your TVs. You used to be able to just bang quick reload and then fire another one. Now you can't so it's all about the timing between when you fire your first TV missile, when you use your primary weapon and when you fire your second TV missile. Personally I'd recommend firing a TV missile to catch them off guard but what you could do is fire your primary wait for their APS to go up because your TV missile will go through there. But that's completely up to you, it depends what sort of map and what sort of position that you're in. Or in terms of hitting an, an air vehicle it's the same as in the helicopter. Make sure you're pointing and leading the target correctly, lining it up first and then just compensating for what they're doing and correcting the flight of the missile as you go. When you are in the helicopter as well, it's always worth switching to the TV view every so often just so you can have an idea of where the attack heli pilot is actually aiming. 
This way, if you think that he's trying to, if you're not on comms, for instance, if he's trying to prompt you to shoot a helicopter in the distance, if you just switch to your TV missile and wait for him to line you up, then you can fire it. If you've got a half decent pilot, most of the time they will just line up anyway because they're shooting their zoonies and they might just, you know, you might have to bend it up a little bit. But that's all there is to it, really. You're going to find it a lot easier to fire out of the bottom of the Viper and the, the Chinese helicopter than you are with the Havoc, which is the Russian helicopter. That one's a bit more difficult to fire out of, especially for the pilot. But again, the TV missile behaves relatively similarly with all three of them. But I would recommend using the Viper if you are looking to get the best results. A target is always a lot easier to hit if you have them side on or face on. If you've got them flying away from you, they're always going to be a little bit more difficult to hit because they can change direction fairly fast. If they're sideways, you have a larger target to hit. And if they are face forward, you can generally see whether they're going to go to the left or to the right. So that's one piece of advice I would recommend using if you're in the attack helicopter. When you're firing at jets as well, it is relatively similar to when you're trying to hit a attack helicopter or little bird. Leading your shot is important. And as you can see in the background, I've got a selection of shots that I've hit with the attack boat on enemy jets. The easiest ones to hit are where they are in the air and they're using their lock-on missiles to fire at you and you just lead your TV missile in the right way and usually if you get it right and you, you anticipate the speed then it's not going to be too difficult to hit because you've got the whole underside of the jet to hit and it is a one-shot kill as well so they're really really satisfying to hit. Before you fire your TV missile as well make sure that you haven't got an enemy attack boat on the map spotted or anything near you because if you fired one TV missile the chances are you're going to get completely destroyed by an enemy attack boat especially if they've got their TV missiles fully reloaded and ready to go. So that's it for this episode. Leave down in the comments if you have any queries or any questions you want to ask me, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.